Hey guys, welcome back, it's Crystal. So today I have my November favorites for you. I haven't done a monthly favorites in such a long time. And I'm really thinking about bringing back my loves and letdowns, which were my weekly favorites. I used to do those all the time and I really, really miss it. It was probably like two years ago when I used to do these videos and I just really miss them because I always have so many products to talk about and I just feel like I don't have enough time to review all the products that I wanna talk about. So doing weekly favorites really helps like me talk about products that I'm trying out throughout the week or even if I'm shopping my stash and using some old favorites. So let me know if you guys want me to bring those back. I would really like to do that, but just let me know your thoughts. I always like your feedback. So before I start my monthly favorites, I just wanted to talk about my eyebrows. I know they're very shiny and they're very bold because I just had them microbladed yesterday. So my microblading appointment yesterday was for a touch up. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I don't even know if I mentioned it in a video that I posted recently. I know I have pre-recorded videos that I have not edited where I mentioned that I had my eyebrows microbladed, but I don't think any of the videos that I've posted, I mentioned it. So you guys probably don't know this, but yeah, I had my eyebrows microbladed four weeks ago and I just had my touch up yesterday. So they're very bold and they're dark <laughs> and they're very shiny because I have ointment on them, so I have to put ointment on. I was thinking about doing like a whole my experience on microblading. Um, let me know if you guys are interested in that. This eyebrow, I feel like it's a little bit thicker than this one. I had to have her change the or fix something and now I feel like this one's a little thicker than this side. But once it fades, maybe, maybe um, it'll look a little bit more even, but it's hard to get the eyebrows exactly the same, you know what I'm saying? All right, so let's talk about highlighters first. I've been using these two a lot. These are from Ofra. I actually just purchased backups during their Black Friday sale because everything was 50% off. So I thought it would be the perfect time to buy backups because I really like the formula of these. I like the way they sit on the skin. They're so beautiful that I had to buy backups. So these are the Ofra and Nikki Tutorials like collaboration highlighters. And she has a total of three shades. The third one is just too dark for my skin tone. So I bought these two and I actually like to mix them together. So the first one here is called Glazed Donut. So it's just a straight up white highlighter. You get 10 grams of product. It's so silky smooth and <laughs> extremely pigmented. Like it is pigmented. If I use this on its own, I have to really lightly dust this on my cheeks because it can get real intense real quick. So it's just a beautiful white highlight. It has a nice smooth texture to it. It sits on the skin so pretty. It doesn't emphasize texture, which I really like about it. So this one is called Glow Goals. And this one's like a champagne, I would say like a champagne gold. It's really pretty. I'll just give you a little I mean, they're so silky smooth and finely milled. They're just so pretty. So I actually like to mix the two together and I do have a little bit of highlight on right now, like a duochrome one, but let me just kind of see if I can mix these with my finger. Cause I feel like the white one, white highlighters on me can sometimes look too stark white. And then I feel like this one here is a little bit too dark. So that's why I like to mix them together. And that's the shade right there mixed together. Hope you guys can see that. So yeah, I've been using these two highlighters quite a bit and I think they're so gorgeous. I absolutely love these and recommend them. So you can get these on the Ofra website. I do have a coupon code that, well, I used to have a coupon code with Ofra. They used to send me stuff. They haven't sent me stuff in a really long time. And I think my coupon code still works. It's for 30% off. So I will link that below. It's not an affiliate link. And then if it still works. And then they also have these on Ulta's website. Obviously you can't get the discount on Ulta, but you can return it if you don't like it. So, and you can get Ulta points. So that is the positive with purchasing at Ulta. But if you want it at the discounted price then you can get it through Ofra. Anyways, those are beautiful. I highly recommend them. And another highlighter I've been wearing is this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Blossom Glow. This is one of the newer shades right there. It has a nice smooth texture. It's very pigmented. It's really pretty. Very reflective and glowy. 
has more of a pink undertone, so if you're not into like pink highlights, you might not like this one, but I think it's really pretty. So that one sits on the skin really nice as well, and the texture is nice and smooth, and it's just a gorgeous highlight. So recommend that one as well. And then I have a brush that I've been loving from Wet n Wild. It is this little Kabuki brush. So I bought their new Mega Glow Highlighting Palette, which I did review. I will link that video down below in case you missed it. But with my purchase, I received this for free. I didn't even know that I was receiving this. And normally I don't really care for Kabuki brushes. I just don't like how they have the short little stubby handle on them. But but this one is so soft and like the perfect fluffiness that I just I've been using this for powdering my face every day and then I also like to use it to blend out like my contour and my blush if I got a little heavy handed with it but oh my gosh it's just so soft it's the perfect size perfect fluffiness it's just incredible so you can, if you can find this on the Wet n Wild website, you might be able to find it on Ulta's website because they do carry Wet n Wild products now. I just don't know if they carry all of them. But I think you can also find those at Walmart. I've found Wet n Wild brushes at the grocery store. I don't know about this particular brush, but it's really good. I love that brush. And I do plan on doing a most used or my favorite brushes video because you guys have requested that. So I'm just kind of decluttering some of my brushes, going through them, see which ones I use the most, and then I will definitely be filming that soon. So just stay tuned if you were one of the ones who requested I do that video. So I have a couple blushes here that I've been using, and these are the Burt's Bees blushes. I really like these. I have two shades, they have a total of three, and I picked up the pink and like the peachy one. So this one is called Shy Pink, and this is what the packaging looks like. So they just have a really nice finish on the cheeks. I feel like when you swatch it, it feels a little bit rough and gritty, not gonna lie. But when you apply it on the cheeks, it smooths out really nice and it blends and I feel like these are not too intense I actually prefer that now I don't like when it's too intense I like when I can build up blush just because I can go too heavy-handed in with it so it's just a really like nice light pink shade beautiful on the cheeks and I almost feel like it has this like I feel like it's matte when you look at it and you swatch it on the hand but when I put it on my cheeks sometimes I feel like it looks a little bit like glowy like a natural glow but not like metallic or shimmery i don't know how to explain it but i don't know i love these and then this one here is called bear peach all right so this one here is bear peach really pretty as well nice and buildable not too intense and those have been some of my go-to blushes as well as some that I pulled out and shopped my stash a little bit, some Palladio blushes. But I'm not gonna go over those today just because I don't want this video to be too long. I've also been loving the Burt's Bees Foundation. This is the Goodness Glows Liquid Makeup. So this is 98.9% natural. I've been really liking this. It's a nice glowy, natural looking foundation. It has a little bit of dewiness to it and I like that it has natural ingredients. I feel like my skin has been really good to me and I don't know if it's because the foundations that I've been re using recently are just more natural and then on top of that my moisturizers that I've been using have been really good so you can see that I've been using these up I did do a review and demo on these I will link it below but I have the shade soft honey and porcelain and I just mix these two together to get my perfect shade porcelain is super super fair so if you have really light skin then this one would probably work for you it has I would say it says it's a pink undertone and I definitely think it is pink-ish, but not too pink. And then this one, it was described as having a pink undertone as well, which it clearly does not have a pink undertone. This one has a yellow undertone, so that's why I mixed these two together to get my perfect shade. And this has one fluid ounce, and I think it was around $15. I got mine at Walmart. Might have been $14.99 or something like that. So I really like this foundation. Um... I'm not wearing this one today, I'm wearing a different one, which I'm gonna talk about here in a second too, but <laughs> these are really good um, if you're more into natural makeup and if you like something a little bit dewy. I don't know if this would work for like super oily skinned gals. I have more normal skin and these hold up fairly well on my skin, so I've been enjoying those. My other favorite foundation at the moment is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. This I love. I've done some 
like get ready with me tutorial videos and I've used this I think in a few of them I really like this foundation I have two shades I have light natural which is the one that I have on right now and the one I've been wearing this one is more of a neutral undertone but I also have I think it's called golden ivory which is more yellow um, but I've been just sticking with this one I just have it on my vanity I could kind of go with either one I would say mm, I haven't used the golden one. I kind of purchased that one because I was like, this one's a little too neutrally. I feel like I need something a little more yellow. So then I purchased the other one and then I threw it in my drawer and I forgot about it to be quite honest with you. So I've been using this one, but it has um, SPF 20. Again, it just has a really nice, beautiful finish. It has good coverage. So I've been strictly using for the past like couple months, I've been using the Burt's Bees and the Bare Minerals Foundation. So I don't know if that's contributing to my nice skin but it might also be my moisturizer. I've been using this, which is a favorite. It's the Algenist Firming and Lifting Cream. I had one of these before. It was a one ounce container like this that they had sent me a long time ago and I was using it up and I fell in love with it so much that I actually purchased this one from Sephora during the VIB sale. This is the four ounce. This was $118, but I did get 20% off luckily, but it's expensive, but I feel like this has been contributing to my skin as well. It's just, I don't know, it's a firming and lifting cream and I really feel like it firms and lifts my skin. My skin has been clear, doesn't have like as much texture, just looks smooth and it's just, I don't know, this moisturizer I feel like is a miracle worker because I was using the other container before I bought this one and my cousin, one day my I didn't have makeup on and my cousin's like, wow, your skin looks really good. Like, I know, doesn't it? <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but it, my skin has been looking pretty good. And I noticed when I, there was like a week where I was just so lazy and being a mom, sometimes I just don't want to take the extra time to put moisturizer on my skin. So I didn't moisturize for like several days in a row and my skin was going back to looking terrible. So I think it really is like the moisturizer, but maybe the foundations in addition to that are helping. And it could be also that I haven't been wearing as much makeup. Like for the most part, I wear makeup throughout the week, but there are some days where I don't have time to put makeup on. So that could be it too. But I really think it might be mostly the moisturizer. <laughs> so anyways, um, the other moisturizer that I kind of been using and rotating through, like I've been using this one in between uses of the Algenist. This is the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Moisturizer. They did send this to me. And this is really, really nice as well. Um, it's formulated with organic ingredients, which I like. And the smell of this is incredible. It has like a lemon, like a sweet lemon scent. I'm obsessed with the scent. Um, I used to have a lotion from, I think, C.O. Bigelow or something, and it was like exactly like this. I think it was like a sugared lemon scent. This is what this smells like, and it smells so good, and I really like the way this feels on my skin, very moisturizing, and I feel like it firms a little bit as well. So those are the two moisturizers I've been loving. All right, so let's talk about this eyeliner right here. I wore this in a video. I need to do a tutorial because several of you asked me to do a tutorial on the look I was wearing in that video. It was a review of some Amazon palettes. I had like a cool toned kind of smoky eye and I used this eyeliner. This is from Maybelline. It's the Master Precise Ink Metallic Liquid Liner. And this is Teal Galaxy. This is what it looks like right here. And this eyeliner is so pretty. Oh, you know what? I have to mix it. I have to shake it up. You definitely have to shake these up to get the most intensity out of it. Otherwise it looks kind of sheer, but it's just so beautiful. So that is what I was wearing in that video. So this is so pretty. The cap color corresponds with the eyeliner. So I do have a couple others of these and I actually did film like a little review video and try on on the ones that I have. So I will try to get that up. I have so many pre-recorded videos and sometimes I just never get around to editing them and I just chuck them. So if you do notice, it does leave like a stain on my hand, but when I wore it on my eyes, it did not stain my eyes. Now it could be because I had so much eyeshadow on and it was sitting on top of the eyeshadow rather than on my bare skin, but just keep note, did stain my hand. So I have several lip products here. I have these here. I wore this one recently in a recent video. This is the Amore Metallics Lip Cream from Milani. This packaging was limited edition when they first came out with these, but 
they decided to make them permanent and the packaging I think is now square. And they do have this one I checked on their website. So this color that I have here is Matley in Love. This is just a beautiful like metallic red and I usually don't wear reds, but there's something about this one. It's almost like a pinky red and I usually don't like super pink lips, but because this one leans more red, I think it's so beautiful. So it's metallic but matte. And it was very comfortable on the lips and I just think it's stunning. So I really like that. Another one that I grab for all the time is this one. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Paints Metallics. I have a few of these, but this one is my favorite. This one is 330 Moon Lust. So they have like a little squeeze tube and this little doe foot applicator. And it's nice and opaque, but just a nice metallic finish. And I just think the color is so pretty. So that is what Moonlust looks like. I think I've worn this in several videos, previous videos, but it doesn't have a scent. I just really like it. It's nice and glossy and it just has a nice metallic sheen so it makes your lips look really plump, which is what I like. All right, so I have a couple products that were sent to me from Peak Cosmetics that I have been enjoying. First off is the sponge. I was really impressed with this. When they sent this to me, I actually didn't know they were sending this to me because they asked if I wanted to review a different product. And I'm gonna show you that here in a minute because I've been enjoying that one a lot as well. But they sent this to me and when I saw it, I was like, oh, it's probably another one of those knockoff sponges from the Beauty Blender that's actually not very soft. It's probably gonna be very hard. Well, I decided to try it one day comes in this packaging right here, and they call this the Precision Blending Sponge, and this retails for $4.75. Yeah, $4.75. So this is very comparable to the Beauty Blender. It is pretty squishy, and when you wet it, it really expands and gets really nice and soft. I love this sponge, as you can see. I mean, it's really dirty. Really, really dirty. So I've been using this on a regular basis, I just love it. It's just a really good sponge, and the price is like so incredible, $4.75, it's such a deal. So I highly recommend this sponge. I think it's amazing, and I definitely will continue to use it. So that's from Peak Cosmetics. So thank you to Peak Cosmetics for sending that, because I love it. And the other thing they sent me is this Radiance Spin Care System. So it came in this box right here. And it says water resistant. This is actually by Duvol, duvol.com. So it has four interchangeable accessories, a face exfoliation brush, large body cleansing brush, facial cleansing brush, and pumice stone. So it has a little manual right here. And these are all the accessories that it comes with. And then here is the actual device right here. It looks kind of something like a Clairsonic. I have, I've actually been through two Clairsonics. The first one just wouldn't charge anymore. I had to chuck it in the trash. And then the second one, my mom gave me her old one because she bought a newer one. And I still have it, but I can't find the charger, the cord to charge it because my daughter, she gets a hold of stuff. Sometimes it's in my bathroom drawers and I just can't find things. <laughs> you know how it is if you're a parent. So this is kind of like similar to that. Let's see, it spins. So it is battery operated. So you open this bottom part up and the batteries go in there, but it is water resistant. So it has the off and on switch. So I've been using the face cleansing brush and it just really helps exfoliate my skin and get off all of my makeup. So I've been enjoying this. I keep it in my bathroom. As you can see, mine's kind of dirty compared to like this one. You can see it's a little less white. I actually haven't used this big one, but I really need to try it out, especially for my chest. Like I don't have the most smooth skin on my chest. I feel like I have like texture on my chest. So this one would be good to try on my chest as well as my back, but I haven't used it yet. And then it comes with this one, which I haven't used either. This is a facial exfoliating brush. It's a little bit rougher than the other brush that's on there, but it's the same size. And then lastly, it comes with the pumice stone accessory. This one I used on my heels and it really. <laughs> so this one I used on my heels and it really helped smooth out my heels. We, I live in Arizona 
and a lot of people wear sandals year round. <laughs> and so because of that, whenever you wear lots of sandals or open toed shoes, your heels can get very, very dry. So I constantly need to like scrub them and file them down. So this was really nice to use on my heels. It really helps smooth out the cracks. Okay, so I'm looking at the website for the price of this. It says it's $28.50 and you actually get the precision sponge with this. That's probably why they sent them together. So if you're interested in this, you actually get this awesome sponge in addition. Normally this system costs $95, but it is currently $28.50. So. Okay, <laughs> if I can stop, if I can get it together. So my cousin was going to the grocery store and I told her I was gonna make cashew chicken and I told her I need salt, like I ran out of salt. I just need regular iodized salt. <laughs> and she kept texting me. <laughs> She's like, I can't find it. They have sea salt, they have Himalayan salt, they have this salt, that salt, this, whatever. I'm like, I just need regular iodized salt, like the big container of iodized salt. And she's like, I'm so confused. And she sent me a Snapchat. <laughs> and it was like a little um, icon of her pointing at all the salts on the aisles. She's like, are you joking me? Anyways, it was there. <laughs> she finally found it. But there's just so many of them that she was overlooking it. I was, I just, I couldn't, that was hilarious. <sighs> okay, let's get it together and finish this video. Now that I have it together and I'm done laughing, um, they did send me a coupon code for anything from the Duvol website and it is for 70% off. So the coupon code is darling70. I will link that down below. They also have some curling wands. I actually reviewed one of them a long time ago. I will try to link that video down below in case you're interested in that curling wand, but I really like it. So anyways, thank you so much to Pete Cosmetics slash Duvol. I think they're like sister companies. So thank you so much to them for sending both of those products because I really like them. Whew. Okay. Oh, and I also have some more lipsticks here. I almost forgot. These are from Urban Decay. I pulled these out of my collection and have been using them. I have this one here in violet. It's a cream finish. It's the one I'm wearing on my lips. It's from Urban Decay. It's so beautiful. This is like a color that's right up my alley. I like these kind of pinky purpley shades, a little bit mauvey toned. It's nice, opaque, very creamy on the lips, very comfortable. This one is Back Talk, and this one is a Comfort Matte. Again, really, really nice, very comfortable matte lipstick. You can see those shades are kind of similar. This one's just a little bit more on the rosy side, whereas this one's a little bit more purpley, but not too purple where it's not wearable. And then this one is Trance Metallicized. So this one's Trance, it's a metallicized finish. Oh, metalized. It's metalized. I always say want to say metallicized. Is that even a word? Probably not. Metalized finish. It's right here. So you can. So I've been using those because I just needed to shop my stash a little bit. I want to talk about this nail polish. I am cheating a little bit because I didn't use it like all month long, but I did paint my nails with it the other night, and it's just so beautiful. This is by Pure Ice. I got it at Walmart. And it was like on a little display. I think it was like a holiday collection of nail polishes. This one, ooh, what is the name? Why are chitting me? Why are chitting me? Why are chitting me? What? Okay, um, 
I can't read it. Or why? It's almost like, are you kidding me? Or cheating me? Why you're cheating me? Why you're cheating me? What the heck name is that? I don't know, but look at this color. This is so pretty. It's like purple base, blue glitters in it. Now I will say the formula was a little bit goopy, but I made it work. It was well worth it because the color is so pretty. My nails are so dry, I need to like moisturize a little better, but I love this color, you guys. It is so gorgeous. I did three coats. Um, yeah, I feel like it needed two to three coats. I just put a third one because I felt like the second one looked a little bit sheerish. So you do have to build it up. And the formula just seemed a little bit goopy, just a little bit. I had to, I had to keep shaking it, but it was almost like it was one of those jelly type polishes, which I normally don't care for too much. So that's why you have to build it up, but it's just such a beautiful reflective color. Oh, it's like, I love it. And a ring I wanna talk about. So this one here, it's like a hammered concave ring and it's from Sterling Forever. I will link it below. So I did get it with a coupon code a while back, but I've been wearing it a lot. I really, really love it. I actually bought three hammered rings because I'm really into the hammered thing right now. They're all a little bit different, but I really like this one. It just kind of like bevels up on the sides, but it's really pretty. It's sterling silver, and I will link it below in case you're interested. I think I'm gonna talk about one more thing and then I'm done because this video is way too long. So this has been a favorite. This is by Mark Anthony. It's the Hydrating Coconut Oil and Shea Butter Volume Hairspray. Waterless. Waterless? What does that mean? Infused with biotin, extra hold fullness and volume, and I got this from Walmart. Oh, so I got this on Ulta's website a while ago. I've been using it nonstop. It's what I put in my hair after I curl it, but it does have a good hold to it, but it's not so hard where it's crunchy. It still has a little bit of softness to it and it smells really good. So if you like coconuts, I think you would like this one. Now it still smells like hairspray, but it does have that kind of sweet coconut scent to it. So I really like the smell and I think the hairspray works well. Um, I just like to spray a little hairspray like after I curl my hair. My hair's looking so bad. I need to get it trimmed so desperately. Anyway, I've been enjoying that hairspray a lot. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I would love it if you joined us here on my channel. Don't forget to click the little bell so you're notified when I post new videos. I feel like that's very important these days because I feel like I'm subscribed to so many people that now I don't even see everybody's videos that I'm subscribed to because sometimes I have to go specifically to somebody's channel to see if they posted any new videos because I don't get any notifications that they did. So if you click the little bell, it will notify you when people that you're subscribed to actually post new videos. So make sure you click the bell and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.